Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Creator Notes podcast, where we get up and close and personal with your favorite content creators and talk about all things content and creating. I am your host, Zombies Love Bacon, and today I'm joined by Peter or Master Trainer Peter. Hello, welcome. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, what do you prefer to go by, Master Trainer or? Oh, I, I, I just go by Peter. Peter. Go by Peter. People call you Peter. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 Um, it's just, just. Yeah, easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> cool. Um, thank you for signing up to the to being on the show, one of the first, which is always oh, a little bit, a little bit anxious, but that's okay. Um, I want saw your I, I I read your little sort of answers to the questionnaire and everything else, and and immediately went yeah perfect. And the reason I did that is because you're not a uh, traditional content creator and YouTuber in the sense. And you're more of, uh, how, well, how would you describe it? How would you describe it? Yeah. So, um, what do I do? Um, <laughs> I am a, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so essentially I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. Um, okay. I'm a personal trainer, but I really enjoy, well, I, I've been playing video games since I was three. Um, I love video games and what I kind of, what I do is I try to blend fitness and video games, uh, and get people fit with with video games with video which games. is uh kind of sounds like a bit of a stretch um but it is possible um there are you know dedicated fitness video games so Absolutely. i do a lot of coverage news reviews and stuff like that and the way i see things is that if you and especially since you know the pandemic um, yes. uh, home workouts has become a huge thing yes. so people have been choosing video games as a fitness option it is a valid fitness option and i want to get people to have a better workout using that that yeah medium. absolutely i just want to so you've you touched on the the pandemic which is fantastic i already put it in my notes i'm like we have to talk about this oh, yeah. this is this is yeah, an yeah. obvious uh they call it a canon event right <laughs> this, this, this <laughs> happened and, and isn't that in out. the uh a dictionary now or something yeah, it's like a it yeah. must be but it's it's the 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 one thing for me as i i said so, oh yeah he's a fitness content creator and I, I fully pictured to click one of your videos and see you're in the gym and and whatever else and i'm like no this man's playing video games like you it's actually these are video games with fitness not i play video games and do fitness it's the two actually matched together and i started watching um some of your videos and the bit that was different for me personally watching your content was you were like breaking it down. Like, uh, this is good for you. This is useless for you. Uh, these, these will actually treat your muscles and, you know, give you an actual workout where this is kind of just frailing your arms around like a silly person. And I was like, that's excellent. This is actual informative content that you don't get normally. You usually get the sales pitch, you know, it's mm. lose weight, play this game is basically what they usually say. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is a lot. And look, uh, I mean, when I started, I've, I've got a couple of videos from back in the day where it's like, uh, weight loss targeted fitness stuff because I was like, oh well, apparently you have to use keywords and stuff, and yeah. I, I had no idea what I was doing back in 2020. Um, and so yeah, like some of the stuff, and then I mentioned vaguely. Also, you've you know you've got to make sure that you're eating properly, otherwise you know that's where the main weight loss thing goes. And that yep. now, if you see the content, I'm like for weight loss, I'm just like it doesn't matter. You you work out, you do this, that's fine, but you're you're not yeah. going to lose any weight unless you actually yeah. use the diet. So um, technically it's a completely separate thing. Like it can help you for specific scenarios, but I, I've never seen the point in, um, how do I put this, like lying about it or like <laughs> trying to sell someone on something that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I don't have any stake in it. Like it, it, you just got to make sure that like, you, you know, if you're going to use it, you use it properly and use it for what yeah. you need it for. And I, I think yeah. you, you hit on the key point is using it properly. It's like, don't, don't just go, I'm going to do, you know, wave my arms around and stuff and then expect to be, you know, fit all over. It's like, no, you're going to get really jacked arms. Uh, <laughs> you got to do, you got to yeah. work all the muscles, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not what, but it's, yeah, it's, I, I do, I, I like that sort of, it's a more professional approach to it. Um, now the, I want to go, and you said you've been playing games for a long time. So I, I'm, I'm going to guess at some point, um, did you, were you around, were you involved in that transition when say like the Wii Fit came out? And then all of a sudden people were like, oh, fitness and video games. Duh, why not? <laughs> so um, I, I actually wasn't. I, um, I, I've played Wii Fit, but I only played it like in the last year. Okay. Um, it's been a little while since like, well, I've played it more seriously in the last year. Like I, I kind of 
played yeah. around with it like it got shown to me back in the day but like i was really personally uh back back then uh when we fit came out i didn't uh i didn't really understand how that would work and how yeah. that was doing things for people um so it's only now that i've kind of like gone and kind of had a dive into it that i'm like oh this is like the genesis of everything that they've developed from there like because yep. theoretically like the ring fit adventure is a spiritual successor to True. Wii Fit. Yep. Right. Yeah. So it's it's so funny because like I you know no Ring Fit Adventure inside and out. And with with Wii Fit, I'm like, oh I get it. <laughs> I get what you were doing there. And um, yeah, yeah. I was at um I was at uh what did you call it? I was at uh PAX uh, a couple of months back, PAX 2023, and I was ended up I was talking to one of the Nintendo apps there um and i think he was like a product manager or something like that and i was having a chat with him and i was like oh you know your ring fit adventure is good you should make another one and he was like yeah you know we got that we fit formula we gotta get we gotta use it more and i'm like do it do it do it <laughs> like yeah i mean we imagine Mario they, Wonder. yeah i mean they did the same thing with uh switch sports i mean just switch fit where you mm. go just just play yeah. on the brand easy exactly or whatever they call the uh Whatever they call the successor, the Super Switch, Super Switch, fit. Super Switch, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Switch Two, or who knows, who knows at this point. Um, but yeah, yeah that's yeah, it's yeah. it's crazy to think the because I, I was well and truly involved in like in terms of like the Nintendo, Sony, Xbox. I was in the in the Wii camp, cool. and when the Wii oh, U, yeah, cool. we we Fit came out, it's just everyone was talking about. It. It's like oh, done my Wii Fit, you know, I weighed myself today. It didn't call me obese, which was nice. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's it's it was crazy to see, and it, it's. The more you delve into it, we could talk about it all day, but it's, it's the more you delve in it, we made accessibility for video games in a, in a whole other level. And it's why I think oh, it might have been last year, might have been year before. It was like the last year that they dropped. We, Dan we um, Just Dance was still dropping on the Wii for like 10 years, even though. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because, there was, because not only is it in all these houses and stuff like that, they're in like old folks' homes and, and it's, like, it's accessibility plus, right? And then they've totally switched 100%. away from all that and now they're in the switch land and it's kind of like, well, you got nunchucks, but it's kind of not the same. But, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's crazy to me to think that we were in this big area and then, and then they've kind of moved away and, and gone to more of that. But then I think, and we have to talk about it obviously, because the ring fit dropped right as we all got locked in our houses for lockdown. And then yes. everyone's like, well, I still need, I need to, there was people buying, what's the bloody expensive exercise bikes, the bloody... Uh, Peloton, oh, yeah, yeah. Peloton, yeah. Everyone's buying Pelotons and yeah. stuff and doing up their home gyms and saying, "I'm going to stay fit through lockdown." And everyone else is like, "I'm just going to buy Ring Fit." Ring Fit, and it was like sold out for weeks, and it's oh just crazy. God. And that, then that, that was their was... solution to, I guess, not being able to go outside. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ring Fit was a uh, the perfect. I mean, Ring Fit, Nintendo kind of nailed the pandemic. Let's be real; they had Ring Fit, and then they launched Animal Crossing. The I was going to say Animal Crossing, yeah, that's and the like, other one. It's like you play, you and then know, they, play they on they an island. Fitness, <laughs> yeah, play on an island, see your friends, and then they actually put like daily stretching into it. Oh um, there's God. actually like a little fitness mode that uh, you're meant you can do with motion controls and stuff in, in Animal Crossing. Nintendo, they knew um, it. They were ahead of the they game. They knew exactly what they were doing. Um, and Ring Fit is a uh, you know like as far as the timing goes, yeah, like kind of the perfect thing what it launched october God, october the 19th i think it is yep. uh 2019 and then you had um yeah obviously march was when we all went into lockdown um <laughs> now the yeah the it was because they launched a free update on the 20th of march as well uh, okay. of 2020 which included the jogging mode so right. you could yep. just do your cardio inside and I mean, obviously, they were developing that with that in, like, part of me wonders, because, what, end of November is when we all started kind of figuring out that COVID was a big thing, right? And that something was happening, and, you know, uh, we didn't think, I don't think anyone thought it was going to be as long, <laughs> as devastating to the world as, <laughs> yeah, 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 as, yeah. It, as it was, but um, that I really, I there's, there's a large part of me that wonders if Nintendo looked at that and were like, let's make this more available, let's make the jogging more available, because... Yeah. It might, you know, it's going to come in useful. And I mean, I, I found it fantastic. Like, um, doing the, doing the the jogging, you can jog on the spot and stuff. And although it does, you know, after a while, you're kind of using the same muscles over and over and yeah. over again, uh, yep. without being able to, you know, use a full range of motion. So, uh, it can create some sorts of imbalances over time. Uh, I think, yeah, it's it was yeah. the perfect, you know, the perfect tool. 
yeah, nothing was ideal during the pandemic. Let's 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 just face it. So <laughs> it's as simple as that. So were you were you creating content before or after Ring Fit? Like, what were you what were you um, up to? So my okay, so it's it's kind of weird. So I um I I came to Australia as a backpacker, and while I was traveling around, I kind of like I'd always wanted to do like YouTube stuff, but it was like 2016, and yeah. I wrote down I've got a, a little notebook, and I wrote down fitness and video games. Yep. Um. And then I've got like mimic Tekken and I can't remember what that means. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like punch, like Hayachi, um, turn into a devil, like Jin, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have no idea what that means, but like, I clearly had this kind of idea and it kind of built for a while. Um, and then I kind of, you know, I studied to be a personal trainer in 2019 and graduated start of 2020. Um, okay. which was kind of like you know perfect timing so um i didn't start the youtube channel until until after until after ring fit had launched um yeah. but i kind of knew that i wanted to do it but also i figured like even though i knew the knowledge of like how to get a better workout and what you should do i yeah. also kind of thought well who the hell is going to listen to me i'm just some guy um whereas if I've waited until I've got my personal training qualification and I can be like, okay, cool. Like I'm a qualified master trainer through the Australian up. fitness. Yeah. No. I've got the authority to back it up. Like, Hey, I've got like a literal certificate. <laughs> and that's why it's master trainer, Peter, by the way, it's not like a Pokemon pun, although it kind of is. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> um, uh, I am the, the Australian Institute of fitness, uh, has a master trainer qualification, which is okay. what I i've passed so yep. i literally am master trainer peter um uh, so that's why i kind of like went on through there um made sure that i had the authority to back up what i was saying and then i started making the content based on it crazy yeah nice it's it's interesting because it'll, usually it works the other way around where people sort of go they launch the youtube channel and then they're like yeah i'm gonna gonna do this eventually and they kind of kind of yeah. stagnates as the content comes out but you kind of you went. No, I've got. I've got everything signed up. Rubber stamped, ready to go, and then and and jump straight into it. So is it? So YouTube was like, that's where I want to go. I want to start making videos, and just away you go. Is it? Is or was it more like? Did you try another platforms? You get into live streaming, or ever find anything else? Or is it always sort of been? I just want to stick to YouTube. Video on demand is the way to go. So I yeah I had I kind of had a bit of a bit of YouTube experience, not a lot. So. Um, but mine, it was mainly, um, it was mainly music. Yep. Uh, so in, uh, 2012, I, I was in a band, um, and we did a music video based on Borderlands 2. Oh, um, <laughs> um, and we did, yeah, we, we covered, uh, Short Change Hero by The Heavy and we played like my, my singer, uh, cosplayed as, uh, as Lilith and yep. I cosplayed as a psycho and I chased her around a, a dis, a, like a so disused cool. front rail yard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, it was really fun to, 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 to do, um, you know, the, the, the camera, the guys who worked on the camera, I think they went on to do stuff for like black mirror and stuff like oh, that. Wow. They've got some okay. good, good tech, good some tech on there. And, um, so yeah, we made this, this little video and it got shared to someone who worked at gearbox, who sent it to Randy Pitchford, who tweeted out about it. Um, awesome. And this was like just after Borderlands 2 launched. And I was like, oh, and uh, yeah, uh, Kelly messaged me and she was like, videos on like 60,000 views. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, um, Randy's got so a bit like, of a following too. So if you- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, there, yeah. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty, um, it was pretty wild. And I looked at that and that kind of like gave me a taste for it. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I started doing my own music stuff uh, under a, like I was doing like synthwave stuff for a while and, so I kind of like had like I knew how to use YouTube, but I didn't really, I don't know, it didn't really gel for me in that sort of sense. But I thought kind of like the kind of well more traditional video creation, like video on demand, you're you know yeah, like yeah. informational but entertainment, so edutainment do they call it? Yeah, um, edutainment. that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, edutainment around fitness was a good way to go. I kind of figured there was a niche there. Yep, I just went for it. Yeah, um, I have tried streaming. And I would like to do it more, but I find uh, I have a very irregular schedule with mm. kind of my day to day life and everything kind of surrounding that. So it's it's hard to get like the consistency, you know, a regular, yeah, 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 consistency. And I think that if challenge. I can't do it consistently, it's it's kind of a a rough a rough deal. So I don't want to kind of do that for anyone. So yeah, yep, yep, I can definitely see that. And it's mm. it's it's kind of a challenge because there's a lot of people that are 
really strong creators and they want to get into live streaming and stuff like that. But it's about, it's like their, their audience will absolutely show up at 6 p.m., but I, they're busy then. So like they could probably stream at 12, but their audience is not going to be there that time. It's sort of, you know, it's about, you know, what's the point if you can't serve your audience? And, and particularly when you go to like YouTube, you put it up there and anyone can watch it at any time. And I suppose when you start yeah. thinking about like edutainment sort of stuff, it's almost as if they want to watch it, you know, as they're working out or they're doing something similar. Like they want to kind yeah. of go, go through the motions and sort of go, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go do this and I'm going to watch this video because I'm about to go do it sort of thing. Yeah, Where yeah. I find a lot, particularly with streaming and stuff like that, it's like if I'm playing a game that's very uh, grinding heavy, my audience are grinding alongside me, and that's the main reason they're there is because they've turned up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh, oh yeah, I'm doing the same mission or I'm trying to get the same piece of gear or whatever. And um, there's always that really nice sort of thing, but it's like you're going to be there when they're there. That's the only way that you're going to see them. And then when the stream's over, they can't watch it anymore. It's over. Um, where yeah. video on demand stuff is, is yeah, it's there forever until, you know, you decide to change it or whatever. Um, it leads me to my next question, which is the future of content cool. creation. And as much as it's very debatable in which direction it's going, it's very clear that the market is steering very closely towards that short form and vertical form format, which yeah. is your TikToks, your reels, your shorts, and so on. Huge. Cool. And I only imagine that like fitness tips and stuff like that. And when I say shorts and stuff like that, like TikTok does 10 minute videos, so it's not really that short anymore. Uh, so, it? yeah, it's yeah, right. It's basically yeah, become well. vertical format video, um, which is yeah, wild. Okay. And then oh, if you can, and then, and not only that, the long form videos la do better because people stay on the, the app for longer. So the algorithm says loves it because it keeps them on the app. Well, yeah. So fitness and edutainment sort of stuff on a portable in short form, do you, like are you, you look at that and go, geez, that's something I should probably get into. You know, how do you see the, the next few years? Um, and I do have a follow-up question that might be a bit loaded on top mm. of it, but, okay. <laughs> but yeah, how so do you it's... feel you're going forward? Like YouTube's YouTube, obviously, you know, there's many players in the live yeah. stream and then there's short format, mm. vertical format, mobile. I think YouTube has definitely become a bit better to, you know, they're, they're definitely trying to cater towards streaming more now. Yeah. Um, they're obviously trying to compete with, with TikTok, with Instagram, you know, with Reels and stuff. Um, they're obviously trying to kind of, like, do that as well. I've seen some shorts do really, really well. Um, and it is something that I, I really feel like I should get into, especially because, so, just a little side note here. I have a um, yeah. I have a side channel, right? So I've got my main channel, Master Trainer Peter, but, like, I kind of figured, like, I think it was last year, it's around the time that Sonic Frontiers was kind of, like, starting to hype up. I was like, I really want to talk about this, but, it doesn't fit with my main with the, stuff. So I made, yeah, like I made a, a, like a side project essentially. And I was like, it's an off Master Trainer of Gaming brand. Yeah, Master Trainer Gaming. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, look, I just kind of like need to, um, you know, it, it gave me that creative freedom um, and also didn't bore my initial audience. Um, now, I've, I made a couple of like really weird shorts um, on there, just kind of playing around with it. And I still just gather views and views, views and views and views yeah. off of those i i didn't touch the channel for four months um because i was busy and i was like why have i gained 500 subscribers and this is the big difference between I, live streaming and like putting on youtube is like you can yeah. take four months off of youtube and come back and go huh people have been watching <laughs> yeah 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 it's it's just like i mean it's just like a you know um it's it's another direct income stream it's not a lot but like it's yeah. it just kind of ticks over and creates money and stuff it's really interesting like just from a business perspective it's fantastic so i want to take um, a side note to your side note because i think this is important mm. so i i did find your master trainer gaming channel mm. and i started watching some videos and sonic forces <laughs> is a particular it holds a special place in in my uh career as a as a game oh yeah it is the only game that I've ever played where I rage quit and turned off the stream and said, I'm never playing this yeah, game ever again. And you know what it was? Could you guess what it was that was driving me up the wall so much that I just went, this is, this is absolute nonsense that I left? It's a, a particular boss. <laughs> oh, was it Zavok? Yeah, it was. <laughs> right? It's not just me. It's like, broken. I, I, we I, had I, the exact same experience. You and me. You, when you go, yeah. I did that and didn't do any. What I did that right. That is exactly what I did. It's 100% yeah. exactly the same. <laughs> I was getting a bunch of comments saying, like, you're not meant to jump. And I'm like, I wasn't jumping. <laughs> boss just sucks. <laughs> like, yes. 
I respect your opinion, but also shut up. Like I was doing what it's intended. I've also, like, oh my God, I hated it. I did it. I remember um, I did it and it worked the first time and I did it again. It just wouldn't yeah. work. And I'm just like, it's over and over again. And I have a little button on my stream deck. It says, fuck this shit, I'm out. And it just plays that, <laughs> that meme. And then I just turned off the stream and I've never gone back to that game. And I'm, when I saw your video, I felt vindicated that it wasn't just me. Yeah. Cause <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. It's and I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm not glad that other people have had that experience. To be honest, um, but yeah, such a such a great concept for a game, poorly executed. <laughs> oh my god! Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, uh, and then yeah, it's a really you know it's it, it's fun being able to do those sorts of videos, and that's something I'm. You know, I'll talk about a bit later, but like leaning into a little bit more on that side as well for for my own kind of sanity. Um, yeah. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like so. You know, obviously, you've got that short form content um, that is really interesting. Like it's, uh, you know, like it, it's definitely it just gathers views and people can scroll past it or yeah. they can, you know, engage with it. Um, I think there's definitely a market for that. And as far as like for fitness and gaming, is absolutely something I should look into. Surely, yeah. My my only issue with it is I've never been one who likes to regurgitate stuff that I've already done. Yep. And although I know that I've I've seen a lot of people like um I watch uh, what's his name uh, Stephen He, okay, um yep. I've seen the um the failure management yes yeah yeah, yeah. Mem- memes and like emotional damage and stuff so like yes. he has yeah yeah right okay so his videos are very funny uh, his long form videos are very funny um yep. and then he re chops those up into shorts yep. and he gets basically the same amount of views off the same content and I'm like that's brilliant that's yep. absolutely brilliant. I really should do that, but also I kind of feel like the way that I filmed it doesn't work, so I'd have to refilm everything, which is fine. Yeah. You see, um, you see professional yeah. people that like medias and stuff like that who are obviously making content for all formats, like advertising mm. and promos and stuff like that. And now they have the the standard like the four six sixteen by nine, and now they have the vertical sixteen by nine guide. So when they're filming, they have to keep it all conscious that it's going to look. This is what it's going to look ah. like on vertical as well as it's just another element to think about, which right. is wild. Yeah, wow. Um, I know that TikTok in particular are working on stuff where you can kind of just give them a standard format video and they'll figure out how to make it look good vertical. Like they'll just use AI and calculations and stuff to do it because they want that's cool. They want everyone on their platform. Like they want them streaming, mm. they want them messaging, they want photos, they want stories. They just want them using the app every single day. Obviously, yeah. the, who knows, but, you know, listening to you, collecting your data, selling it, all that stuff. You know, what, all, what all apps do when you look into it. And the thing with, particularly with TikTok, it's scary how powerful their algorithm is. So you'll like, you'll spend three seconds while you're scrolling, you just stop and go, what is he doing? And he might be doing, you know, he might be patting a, 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 an emu, right? You scroll three more videos and you get emu videos. And it's just, and then it's like, it just knows. It's just, it's always it's thinking. But not only that, because I, I do a little bit of streaming on, on TikTok as well. And like, it mm. listens to you. Like as you're talking, the words that you're saying, it'll then take it that use that algorithm to push that video to other people's feeds that have that as a like a primary thing so i might be talking about cats and then people that like cat videos will get me pop up in their feed sort of thing and at the same time i might be you know swearing crazily and i'll be like all right we're not going to show you too many people today because you're a bit offensive and <laughs> we'll get, we'll t- tied you up but it's the difference between and oh you watch your, you watch your numbers go so you, you might be averaging 30 odd viewers or whatever. And then if, <clears> when you go to a for you page, so when you end up in someone's feed or, or a popular feed, you just watch it go up to a thousand and more and it just goes up and it can come straight back down as quick as that. And you'll get, you can get 10 followers or a thousand followers. And it's, it's, it's wild. It's like live streaming on steroids because you, you it's That's literally crazy. as people are scrolling, they got to, you got to kind of grab their attention. So yeah, 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 yeah. like there's no point playing through mass effect and, and hoping that people are going to hang around for, 10 hours or whatever um you know but it, like i've played I've, you know i've played like uh i've played donkey kong on there for example because people scroll through and they stop and go, oh i love this game and like they'll sit there for a minute yeah. or two and then they'll hit like and then scroll on and away they go That's so it's a, it's a different though. audience but it is like it's it's a much bigger audience but in it's yeah again, short form so like you only you only really get to hang out with them for a few minutes and Ooh. you have to kind of make an impression to make them come back but it's very yeah, interesting, but I get what you're saying. Where in the sense that, like, it is a lot of regurgitated content, and we mm. used to used to joke that something will turn up on Reddit, and then it'll be on your Facebook page a week later because it goes through the regurgitation channel of all the different yeah. social medias, and then your mum sends it as a meme a week later when she sees it on <laughs> Facebook, and you're like, yeah, we know we saw it on Reddit. You know, it's 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 the same sort yeah. of thing. You know, stuff from TikTok flows on into Reels, flows into Shorts, and 
you know, and it's just crazy. And so it's it's an interesting thing, but at the same time, it could be, and it's 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 hard to sort of put a number on it, but it can be really, really. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking? Of? It's it can grow your numbers very quickly. But hmm. if you want to, if your aim is say YouTube, it's how do you convert them from a watching your TikTok to come and subscribe to your YouTube channel and support your channel and do that. And that's where you, and I've got friends who get a million views on TikTok and they get 10 new followers on Twitch because it's that conversion factor is so difficult to say, say, Hey, come, come see me where I do my main work kind of thing. Um, but if you do your main work on, you know, short form sort of stuff, it can kind of blow up, but again, it's, it's what works for you, but it's yeah, definitely yeah. for those, for definitely those of us that have been, like, yeah, those of us who have been in the game for a while, it's sort of hard to go, okay, well, that is different. <laughs> how, yeah, how, can I, yeah. how can I play in that field sort of thing? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. But fitness, fitness seems like a no-brainer to me. Like it's, it's so many people will like, you know, gym videos and stuff like that and, you know, many people like video games and if you can kind of say, hey, do the thing you love and still get your exercise in, it seems like a, yeah. a win-win really. Um, which brings me to my next sort of question that I want to do, sort of lean into. Um, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I have some friends who are fitness content creators, not in the sense of Ooh. they're not gym bros, so to speak. Well, yep. maybe they are these days. Who knows? Yeah. But their <laughs> gateway and their pathway has been VR. So Interesting. Yes. Mm. Which makes it interesting because when I saw all your videos, it's all really either like, uh, well, you love your Sonic titles and your sega titles that's clear um <laughs> and then nintendo yeah. obviously with their their sort of their motion controls and stuff like that um ever played in the vr space interested in it or i i'm definitely interested in the vr space um i actually own to prepare to prepare for me doing vr content i bought a game like i found a physical game i, I walked into an eb games and i found i was going through the games and i found something called box vr Okay. Um, I bought it. I was like, okay, cool. Like, oh, you know, I'm definitely going to play this. I haven't got myself a VR headset yet. Um, mainly, and the, but I was like, I, I then went in and a mate of mine worked for him and uh, they were like, oh yeah, that game got recalled. Like, <laughs> you can't buy it anymore. I'm like, okay, cool. So do I have to like give it back? And they were like, great no. start. I was like, okay, cool. Great. Really good okay, start. Cool. So, fantastic. <laughs> um, I think there's, look, the VR space is, is awesome. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, for me, it's, for me that it's kind of a prohibitively large cost right now mm -hmm. um and also part of me wonders like uh, and again this is part of how i've you know kind of kind of think about it is like how do i deliver especially because i've built a very nintendo centric audience yeah and nintendo is there, uh, <laughs> exactly <laughs> so, oh, i can get the labo out yeah um, the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um uh, what was it? The Breath of the Wild VR, um, but the yeah, like how much how much of a transfer is there um, to those guys, and how do I how do I make entertaining content yeah. off of it as well? Was was part of my worry. Um, I'm I'm definitely interested in looking into it because I think it's I think it's a very real, very real, very powerful niche there with with mm. VR. Um, you could really do some really cool stuff. Like uh, imagine like. Imagine fitness classes being done like you've got like the trainer in their home doing the movements and then everyone's got their VR helmets in their own home. So they can, yeah. you know, like you can have group classes like that. That's a that's a theoretical possibility that I would love to explore. One of the, one um, of the massive the things, things that, that the, 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 the technology is pushing now, which is with the Quest 3 and um, mm. the, well, I don't even remember what the, the, the Apple one that costs way too much is very much like you, it's got the, the pass through. So you can wear it like glasses and you can still see everything around you. You just have digital displays. So you can be doing your workout, have your heart rate monitor go on here. You can have, you know, you have one of your videos popped up over here telling you what to do. But yeah, it's, it's, you can do all that and you just have your goggles on and you look like a fool, but it still doesn't matter because it's sort of the future. And, <laughs> um, but, but obviously there's a barrier to, to cost of entry in, the, in that sort of field. Yeah, but, yeah. And, and up until this point, I suppose, it's been things like Beat Saber and Synth Riders and stuff like that, which are just massively yeah. cardio incentric. And you know, depending on how hard you want to make it, you can definitely discover muscles the next day that you didn't know existed just from bending and twisting. I did do... <laughs> <laughs> yeah my, my old my old housemate bought um i had, had a vr headset and that was kind of my first foray into it like before i started doing the fitness content um we played beat saber together we we like rearranged the living room and play beat yep. saber and i could never understand how 
good they were at it because i was like <laughs> How are you beating me? Yes. And I was like, oh, there's accuracy involved as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I thought it was just hit the blocks. No, you've got to hit the blocks in the right way. Um, yeah. So I'm just like, da, 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 and they're like, it's definitely a skill. It's definitely a skill. Yeah. Um, not, I'm not, not, met, not held by me, that's for sure. I'm definitely a, I'm like, what do you mean I hit the block the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm. <laughs> but it's, but it's, it's, it's crazy. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, I think, again, it comes back to that accessibility sort of stuff. Like, um, and that, and, and like we talk about, being entertaining while working out and stuff like that. And that's where I think Beat Saber kind of nailed it. Um, it's like you, you're just you're jamming and you're swinging your lightsabers around. I mean, what, what, what's wrong with that? It's, um, yeah. and it's like Synth Riders is kind of another one where, it, it's, again, you just sort of, it just gets you pumped up and, and away you go. Um, but it's, it's, I think that it's, the big thing's always been that barrier of entry and stuff like that. Like I had, I've had PSVR. Um, before I wanted to get a PSVR too, but the price range is nine hundred dollars. So I'm like, well, that's it out is, of the budget. Yeah, it's wild. Right? Um, I do have a a Quest Two, which is a, a very powerful piece of hardware that you can pick up at a reasonable price these days. Because um, cool. you don't need yeah. you don't even need a computer. You just it's all built in. It's all mm-hmm. all the motion scanning and everything's done from the headset, and away you go. And you can get load up Beat Saber, yeah. and just find yourself a you know square meter to swing around in, and you you're good. So it, it, like, but from the perspective of like, I've got friends and stuff like that. They're like, okay, I love games. I play too many games. I need to lose weight. I need to do exercise. I want to make the two work. They jump straight into VR. They jump straight into these titles and they just do it every day. And and look, it's working for them. You know, absolutely. And it's, it's again, though, it comes down to that fact of some people aren't suitable for VR, you know, VR, you got to have the space. Not everyone has the space for VR. (laughs) So um, again, coming back to sort of the stuff that you do, uh, it's like, these are these are video games. They are actual video games. They're not, you know, they're yeah. not designed to strap yourself that's in or whatever. That's really, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's what's really interesting about the uh, the the, uh, the the switch uh, the, the switch fitness games are really interesting because there's such a, a wide variety of what they do. Um, and I, I like I I will go. I, I think I, I need to experience some of the VR games before I properly make the statement but i'm also like pretty pretty confident in it being in me saying that uh i i personally believe that ring fit adventure is the single greatest fitness video game that has ever been created and i think it will take a lot to beat it because what they nailed that a lot of the other games don't is it is as you said it's it's a game right yeah. it's an rpg you are battling enemies you are making potions you are leveling up you are you know getting new skills and stuff like that like they, they they nailed the traditional rpg elements of everything but you just got to move around in order to make it work um that's that's the <laughs> difference minimum. that's the difference you gotta move yeah you gotta move you gotta move you gotta move um and the rings are so hang on two seconds it's crazy to me because so, i yeah i got my prop um they're just they're great because it's just a pilates ring right so you know, the the more you push in on it, the more resistance it give, it pushes. Yeah, I didn't realize. So I, I've got one as well. I haven't. I'll be honest. I haven't played it much, but it's, it wasn't necessarily my purchase. It was my partner's purchase at the time. And but yeah, I've I've, I've seen people use it and stuff like that. But when I got it, I'm like, this ring is this is something else. This is not just a piece of. I thought it's just going to be like a piece of flimsy whatever. Yeah, and no, like no, I I, so. I obviously grew up. I did Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus, <laughs> and I can't remember. There's some like a Wii Fighter or something like that, which you strap. Strap a strap a thing to your leg, and then they had like a resistance band. So when you're using, so it gave that that resistance to the Wii remote. And like I've used yeah, all those before. Okay, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. This is these are bizarre. But then when I looked at the, the as soon as I picked up the ring, I said, I get it now. I get it. Mm. It's about the motions. You know, it's not necessarily about waving your arms around and sort of it, thinking that it. goes. <laughs> it's uh, mm. yeah. It's so funny. My um, I had a uh, when I was training to be a personal trainer, I mentioned to I had a mentor. And, and I mentioned to them, they, they're, they're like a bodybuilding coach, right? Okay. They, they prep people for bodybuilding competitions. And I was like, this is, well, I was like, I'm, I'm really interested in this game. Like, I was like, this is a good workout. And they were like, oh, we'll see. Um, and they, they <laughs> and mates house came in the next day and they were like, Peter, everything hurts. Like, yes. I found, I have found muscles. It, it's like, it's hit my tendons in ways that I didn't really think it would. Um, and so his arms were like, he, this guy's like lifting heaps and like, yeah, this, this, this little ring, um, it was ruined. And I was like, it's amazing. Right. It, it is actually like incredible because I can see it now on the Nintendo switch bodybuilding. <laughs> I, do you know, I, so I, um, 
I, like I trained, I trained to be a PT in Sydney. Okay. Um, I trained to be a PT in Sydney, and the uh, the gym that I trained in um, and qualified in was ah oh, God, I should remember Bond Street, the Bond Street, Bond Street. Fitness okay. First. Yep. And I went in there um, to go. Uh, I went in there to go and like hand in my paperwork, um, and I was like, "There's a fucking ring fit in here." <laughs> <laughs> they had Nintendo had set up a Ring Fit Adventure station in the what, gym. In, in what was that like a promotion in, in, thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, That's this was though, isn't it? That's start of genius. Uh, start of 2020. There was a yeah. <laughs> there was there was just a Ring Fit Adventure setup that you could go and play. Um, and I was like, amazing! Like that's, that, that's yeah, absolutely that's, fantastic. Hats off to the marketing um, they, team that came up with that one. That's a yeah, that's a brilliant 100%. idea. Course, that's where your audience is. Yes, buddy. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, like bring the work out home. Bring the work out home. <laughs> yeah, to see it, do it. Ah, it's such a, yeah. it's such a, it's it's crazy. I'll, I'll, I might have to do like a, a ring fit stream. I think maybe. Yeah, do it. Uh, yeah, do, yeah. Do it. We'll find some muscles. I know. I know they're there <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's so yeah, it's interesting. I, I think so for you. It really, it's uh, the ring fit came out, and then everyone got locked in their doors, and you just saw a golden opportunity. And that's your Canon event for it. And then from there, like, how has your content sort of changed or grown? Like, yeah. where? Is it, so it's, Ring Fit's been out now, what, two, nearly three years? So, um, it'll be, it'll be five years and 24. It'll be yeah. five years, um, which is crazy. <laughs> um, oh, God, what is time? Um, so, yeah, basically, my, my content. So, I started making like playlists. So, I kind of, my whole thing was like using personal training theory to get people better workouts yep. when they're playing the games so i made you know um i made ring fit adventure has a custom mode so you can kind of set up the exercises in the right order so the way that i started getting getting a bit of attention was i said right okay cool like if you're going to work out do this in this order because you're exhausting you know exhausting your bigger muscles first you're exhausting your little you know like kind of you're using your core last because you're using that through the entirety of thing and teaching people a bit of like structure to their program yeah i'm um, so i kind of made content on that and then like did found out that like lists on youtube are a thing so i was like doing the top five best moves the top five worst moves um or worst five moves um that's how that one goes but um so i kind of you know I, I kind of made that and then i thought kind of for january you know start of january that year my first january i was like do you know what everyone does like these fitness challenges for their mm. for their days but they always do like i'm gonna work out for 30 days in a row and i kind of hate that um because people do that and then they burn themselves out or they injure themselves and because they, they don't stop. give it themselves <laughs> yeah and then they yeah. stop because of it because they don't give themselves any recovery time so this is mm. this is exactly what i did when i started working out like when i was so when i was like 18 i was like 120 kilos um and then i dropped to like 75 in a couple of years so like i you know went through a massive weight loss journey myself and when i yeah. first started i <laughs> i worked out every day for three weeks and i my body just kind of at the end of it just went no nope, we're getting ill anymore we're, we're, we're being we're sick um yep. we're getting into bed and you're not getting thing. out for a week yeah same thing I went, everyone went, does got a gym membership oh, bloody, i had a had a got in there no they had a thing where like the pt shows you how to do everything he's like just do that i'm like sweet he's like do it uh once twice maybe three times a week and you'd be good i'm like sweet i'm gonna do that every fucking day <laughs> and then i <laughs> <laughs> and about it yeah. took about, like, about two weeks and then i'm like I can't move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you're laid up for a week and you're just like, oh, yep. yeah. So this is the thing where everyone in those Januaries, they go, right, I'm going to work out for 30 days. And then like by, you know, two weeks in, three weeks in, they're like, I, I feel really sick. I can't do this. And then they give up and they don't go back into fitness. Mm -hmm. So what I thought was like, right, if I make my own 30 day challenge, but I say, okay, we're doing, you know, you've got a leg day, you've got an arm day, you've got a core day, you're having a rest. You've got a full rest day where you're not doing anything and like kind of like importing you know like kind of making how important um that's not words good lord um <laughs> showing people how important recovery is because yes. recovery is recovery when you you know for, for those who don't know with with your when you're working out uh you're essentially breaking your muscles right you're getting micro tears in all your muscles and in order to kind of you know get your gains and get swollen and stuff um or you know whatever you want for it um you <laughs> You, it's it's the recovery which is the important part. So it's 
getting good sleep, eating good nutritious food, that is how you build a better body. So when you're working out, yes, that's you know going to going to trigger physio like you know trigger the right things to create physiological change. Yeah, but that doesn't happen heal. until you're resting. <laughs> yeah. You need to heal. Exactly. So it's so important. Recovery is so important, and I think it's one of those things that a lot of people overlook. So mm. I'm really, really all about recovery um, after your workouts. So I made this program and I called it the Kickstart because I like Kickstart year with Ring Fit Adventure, um, and I think I I posted it on the subreddit. Uh, the Ring Fit Adventure subreddit, and it got, yeah, yeah, like I was monetized within like two weeks after that, and I was like, okay, yeah. cool, well, I can make yeah. money off of off of this. Yeah, this is insane. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, there would have been all these people that got Ring Fits for Christmas, New Year's resolution, the Liz and the Tummy, yeah. and then here you came in, just perfect timing on again. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Strat strategy is strategy and execution is just such an important thing with with content creation in general if you're trying to if you're trying to make it sustainable or you're trying to make it like a, an actual content you know like um like an actual career if because you know i i don't do it full-time i don't do, yeah. i'm not a full-time content creator um it is something that i am aiming to get to i'm aiming to get to that level where i went like as soon as i can but like strategy and execution is just it is a really underrated thing like yeah you can go viral like you can make a, a really good yeah, video and go viral, but like if you, if you can't follow it up, then yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And a hundred percent. And like I, I, I've had, I had a clip recently, a short go super viral. And it oh, that's was your, just, your Borderlands one, right? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for no reason, like absolutely no reason. Yeah. I totally flabbergasted. It's not my best work. I'm not very proud of it. It just went viral and I don't know how to back it oh. up and I don't know, I don't have a plan for it. So it's just gonna it's gonna be that peak that sits in my YouTube channel, and I I'll, and I'm just gonna aim to get over it at some point with something else. But yeah, yeah. I, I never planned for it. I had no strategy. I just put it up there for a giggle, <laughs> and uh, yeah. who knows, three point five million views or something. Now it's just insanity. That much? <laughs> God, <laughs> real, I didn't realize that. It just That's it's mad, still going. Dude. It's still going. It's what? like it's crazy. That's so and cool. the, but the, oh again though, like there's there's other work where I'll put the work in and I'll go. This is my plan. This is what I want to do. Blah blah blah. I would much rather get a thousand views on one of those videos than three million views on a throwaway funny clip. That yeah. To, you know, showcase yeah. a yeah. funny game that I played that I liked that yeah. no one else did apparently, mm. but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I, I bought the game because I, I'm like, Borderlands is like one of my, uh, it's probably my third favorite gaming franchise. Like, I love yeah. the Borderlands series so much. Um, but I, uh, I've, that's the only one I've not played. Yeah. It's, in, and you know what? It's very interesting because. Like I, I enjoy it. It has a lot of good parts to it and everything else. And like, we don't need a full review or anything like that, but they do make a point at the end and it sort of explains it all. That was their COVID game. When they went into lockdown, yeah. that's what they could work on remotely and stuff like that. And all of a sudden things like the pacing issues and kind of the weird sort of yeah. stuff. Of it, you're like, yeah, they were all probably learning to work from home remotely and not, you know, in the same office. Yeah. And, and Interesting. Sort of, yeah. It, it, yeah. It kind of, it kind of gives me a new perspective to it because I'm a huge fan of Borderlands and I'm a huge fan of the lore and, and like, I really like the first Tales from the Borderlands game. And then I, I, I play the new one. I'm like, I get it, but it's not what I wanted, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's still out there and people should play it. I think um, if more people yeah. play it, they might make another one. Hopefully, out of lockdown. <laughs> It'll be good yeah. yeah, yeah. Give it, give it a better. Yeah, yeah. Give it a better chance. Yeah. But yeah. So look, mm. um, mindful of time, but I do feel mm. like we would be doing a disservice if we don't talk about um, what most people would ask you, which is tips for gaming mm. and losing weight. Like, hey, I'm, hey, I'm looking yeah. to lose weight. I also, I don't want it to eat into my gaming time. You know, what's your, what's your like your your most common tips, I guess? Or yeah, cool. If you look, I know kind of, I don't want, obviously, I don't want to sound like a, uh, whoops, sorry, not that. Either. Obviously, I don't want to sound like a, uh, like a Nintendo chill. <laughs> but if you have a Nintendo Switch, um, who doesn't I, at this I, point? I can, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, but the third, third best selling console of all time. Um, it's, um, they, if you don't I, get I a Wii, you know, they're the cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get a Wii, you can get one, get one down cashies. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, and we fits like what five bucks from there something they like that so yeah you, they, <laughs> <laughs> they do they do um oh, but yeah man. so so nintendo nintendo switch if, if you know if you are looking and you've got one anyway um ring fit adventure is just such a fun game because it is a game it is a game and it tricks you into exercise and i know it sounds really weird because because it's a game but it's actually an exercise program 
Yeah. Um, and that's the way that the, the worlds are structured, which is really cool, is that, um, you know, it is like an arm day for this one or a leg day for this world. Um, so, you know, if you've got a switch, get that one. Or if you want to try some of the others, like your fitness boxing, knockout home fitness. Um, there's actually a really good one called Let's Get Fit, which is they're, they're more fitness apps yep. that yep. call themselves games. But there's still a lot of really good options on the Nintendo Switch. So if you've got that and you want to, you know, play a game keep entertained because that's what a lot of people use it for is that like a traditional workout doesn't do it for them so yeah yeah it keeps them engaged it keeps yep. them engaged and they can you know that that sort of thing so that that's so really cool if you if you're um, it's, if you're not a nintendo pleb uh, if you're not a nintendo pleb, yeah um what i would recommend doing is i mean it can be as simple as like just jogging on the spot or something like that um or if you've got, you know, if you do have an exercise bike or you've got like a little walker or something like that, you know, move around while you're playing, move around while mm. you're playing. Like I, I know quite a lot of people now who they will sit on their exercise bike and they will have their controller and they will play their game while they're doing that. And, you know, some of them have the thing where like, I'm not allowed to stop moving until <laughs> I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to play the game if I'm not moving that sort of yeah. thing. Right. Um, so they can't stop moving until they've completed a level or something like that. Um, so that can be a really fun way if you don't have access to yeah one of those machines like i i've literally done like a video uh, i i released one recently which is i i ran on the spot catching shiny pokemon in, <laughs> in pokemon violet um and i was like i'm not stopping until i i'm not stopping until i uh, catch a pokemon um and i ran for <laughs> almost three hours um it sucked um so i wouldn't recommend doing it for that long but like you can you know all you, you need to do or yeah, if you don't want to do it while you're moving I'd recommend, you know, like getting up and moving, you know, pausing the game, getting yeah. up and moving around once an hour, you know, going for a stretch, doing a couple of push-ups, walking yeah. around. One, one, something one creator like that, that does to, it move. really well and is very open about, you know, mm. his fitness and stuff like that is Barjo actually has like a stretch break. Oh, like yeah. He will awesome. go, okay, we're taking a break. And then he'll go over to mm. his floor and he's got his, got his little thing out to stretch his back and he'll lay down and stretch and, you know, do it all properly. Awesome. And like he's like, right. my back's killing me. Otherwise, this is I have to do this to keep doing what I would, you know I love doing. And mad Amazing. respect because so many people yeah. are like, no nah, man, I got to do my thirty six hour stream. I'm gonna be here the whole time, you know. And it's like, no, nah, there's 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 some kind of respect for saying, hey, you know, it's, I've been playing for an hour. I got to stand up, stretch my legs, got to walk around a bit, you know, get the blood flowing. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's that's, that's kind of that's that's a, such a simple message for people. Is like, hey, just take a break. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you get those messages at the start of games, don't you, where it's like warning, you should make sure you move around a little bit and most people just ignore it. But like, I don't know, those who, you know, those who do get sore backs from sitting down a lot or, you know, that they, you know, you can't, you, you only get one body, you Correct. need to look after it. So, you know, taking a little break, walking around, getting some sunshine, having you know, stretching your back, stuff like that. That that's what I would recommend. Like another thing as well, actually, like as far as tips go, is if you don't do any exercise, don't go massively into it and like overdo it and overkill. Yeah. Don't do that. Build up bit by bit. Like if it's like, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go for a walk twice a week. And then the week after I'm going to go for another walk. I'm going to do three so walks. I'm going to, I'm going to perfectly segue this. Are you ready for this? Mm. If you do, if you don't move a lot, uh, don't think that you can go to PAX for three days and not be sore. after. <laughs> Cause my God, <laughs> Oh my god! The um, yeah, yeah, the uh, the the amount of steps I was doing walking around packs. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't even imagine what. Yeah, some other people. So are doing. I, I, it's, here's the yeah. picture, right? Your next content is the 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 month challenge leading up to packs. Get packs ready for packs. You're just <sighs> stretching muscles. You get you get your feet ready, you know. Because my god, it's and I'm not the only one. I'm sure we always joke oh, god, that there no, should be yeah. a fourth day for packs, which is a spa day. Yeah, that we all just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is really funny you mentioned that because what something i am working on so um i'm going to be going to uh tgx hell yeah uh, the, the game expo yeah i'm gonna be there for a uh, thingy and i'm actually gonna be filming like a uh convent you know staying healthy at a convention um okay. i'm gonna be filming that while i'm there and I, i've messaged them and they're like they're like okay cool um that's a that's a really cool idea um so yeah like i i actually really like really rate like you know kind of like how to 
you know how to how to stay healthy because like you are walking around a lot so like here's the things that you can do to rest your body like sit yeah. down where you can make sure that you hydrate stuff like that and like show them show people how to do that and you tell them all the time and they never do it it's uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's uh yeah it's nuts i am also going yeah. to tgx so if you need a, 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 a oh, victim of, i mean a volunteer uh, i'm a, a happy to to help out in any way beautiful um, oh that sounds awesome yeah yeah my, my fitness Good is stuff. subpar but that's okay <laughs> I, I yeah, oh, look, man. it's things like packs and stuff like that. You could, you really can tell, particularly when you got a lot going on. And like, for those who haven't been to packs, uh, and mm. it's it's very hectic. There's a lot of people. There's a lot to see and do. Um, and there's a lot of just like, there's just a lot going on. And you and you don't want to sit out anything because you don't want to miss out on it. And you know, you mm. have to wait another year for packs to come around or. You know, as yeah. a pandemic happens and you don't get a PAX for a while, it's kind of <laughs> yeah. a bit depressing, but that's okay. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 very hectic. And I know um, I'm, I'm going to the Game Expo. I went to the Game Expo last year as well. And it's sort of like, it's the more casual, relaxing version of PAX where, you know, you got room to move and um, time to see things and you know, much more time to talk to people and, and have actual mm. conversations, which is nice. So um, I love PAX, but it is a lot. And I... It is yeah. a lot. <laughs> so so yeah. I think I think it's I'm gonna the, take my own uh, advice and, and probably yeah, look at look at uh taking adding extra steps into my weeks leading up to PAX because yeah. I, I was I think I slept for an entire day when I after this PAX just gone. It was just oh, yeah. oh my god. Um, yeah. I, I yeah, know so a lot of people who are like, wow, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm done. <laughs> so there's definitely there's yeah. definitely a uh there's a there's a gap in the market there where we can train up for PAX, I guess is probably the way yeah. to go. Um, Pre PAX training. But yeah, so uh wrapping sort of wrapping things up a little bit but where do you see yourself going forward like obviously you said you'd be interested in trying to get into that sort of mainstream content creation um mm. delve into that sort of stuff tgx thing sounds awesome i'd love to see we also yeah. have um dream hacks another one you should definitely look into there's a lot of gamers oh, there yeah. um yeah. And obviously packs later in the year and if you if you can manage to make it to south by southwest there's you know there's a lot of a lot of avenues there um there are, yeah. Yeah, it's a problem with living uh Adelaide, South Australia. You've got to fly everywhere. Um but yeah, it's the uh yeah, yeah. Nothing happens in Adelaide, except maybe one supernova. Um but yeah, the um going as far forward, as going what forward, are you, what are you, yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah, I think there's there's some really interesting kind of stuff I like I think the fitness gaming niche is 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 amazing. Obviously, I love it and we've got a really supportive community. Um it is one of those things that's very dependent on new releases though. Mm. um and like there's only a certain amount of times that you can go through the same content before people or the, switch like to you know, the same year, content change. switch to come yeah, on exactly. yeah exactly <laughs> give me like let's get predictions for the fitness games um give me you know like what are they going to do for games um so yeah like this I, I i'm trying to on that channel i'm trying to branch out into different ways and uh you know like of using fitness like like i said about the the running on the spot with mm. Pokemon, like yeah no of doing fitness excellent. challenges based on based on video games and doing stuff like general health guides surrounding gaming culture. Yeah. Um, that's kind of where I'm pushing that next year. I'm also looking into, as I said, with the Master Trainer Gaming, just because it's more, I don't know, I'm not, it kind of tickle, like ticks the right boxes for my brain. Like it's it's really mm. fun to do that sort of, um, you know, uh, something different um i really i'm I'm a bit of a complete i've always been a bit of a completionist, completionist and someone yeah. who collects stuff you can kind of tell with all the sonic stuff in the background that i've got um i really like collecting the stuff to do with sonic the hedgehog so um i'm kind of you know i'm like well i'm gonna collect all the platinum trophies for the sonic games anyway i might as well record it and make some fun videos um yeah. so i'm looking into you know that that's i've seen quite a decent success with that um with that sonic forces one i'm about to finish off my sonic mania one um so i'm just going to go through every sonic game that i can get hold of and do you know like get all the trophies on that so like i'm going to push that and yeah take the mainstream which not that i would recommend everyone do this <laughs> but like i've kind of running two side chat two channels side by side it's not it's it's exhausting but it's more work yeah. um it is way more work <laughs> but um it is really fulfilling because you know they don't work together so having them yeah. separate is is great well they, they say that uh, of... you know variety is the spice of life and it's it's yeah. it's good to like it, like you said, you know, you, sometimes you need to take a rest day. Rest day, it's good. To, you know, let's just take a day where you're not going to worry about fitness and stuff like that. We're just going to get that platinum yeah. trophy or or whatever. That yeah. sounds good to me. I mean, like it honestly. Yeah. And look, um, I'm a. I, I grew up on Sonic 
and and I, I was a master system was my my gateway drug into into oh, gaming. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, and, nice. Um, I was I was Team Sonic all the way, uh, and to see like Sega do their announcement recently, where they're like, "We're going back, we're bringing all the oldies back." I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, you get it." it. Looks like the same the same guys doing um the same guys who did Streets of Rage four. I think they're the guys yeah. doing Shinobi. I'm like, <laughs> they they literally went, "Okay, we're gonna we, this is what everyone wants. We'll just give everyone what they want." That's that's, that's pretty I'm much so it. Happy. And, Man, they like leading up to it. They're like, the Sega's like, oh, we got some cooking. We're gonna, we got an announcement cooking and whatever else. And then I thought, when I saw that trailer, I'm like, holy shit, they're going, they're, they're announcing heaps of games. Surely yeah. it's not another console. And like, there's not stop, stop short of another console, but they're bringing all their games in. Uh, which, if you, if there's one thing to be said about Sega community and Sonic community and stuff like that, they are passionate about everything. Even the bad, they love it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's they do, they do. <laughs> so yeah, it's they good. Do. It's and and like and it's important to know what you like. I think, um, and I, it's Ooh. sort of something that a lot of people kind of struggle with, where they go, you know, my content. You know, they might go, I made a content video for Call of Duty and it really went well, but I don't like the game. But I want to, I want to keep making Call of Duty videos because it gets me views. It's like, well, which is going to be better for your long run? You know, play something you like or play something they like. Which which is going to be better for yeah. you, you know? So I'm glad that you've yeah you found that kind of niche where you go, yep, I I know, I, I know what I I want to do, what kind of content, and then I know what I want to do for me, that kind of content, and you're done, which is great. It's, there's not many people that can say that they've sort of found that balance, I guess. Um, running two channels is a pain in the ass, so so good luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Out of business, yeah. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> so last it's, question, it's a really, a last sort of yeah. topic, I guess. Um, ideally where do you see yourself going like in the in the future like if, if everything works out well for you you know we'll get a switch two with a ring fit on launch they send you an early version of the copy so you can make some content before it comes out like like ideally where do you want to get to do you want to get to like you know obviously pax is a big deal and uh, you know game yeah. expo is a big deal and stuff like that overseas or like yeah i would look i mean i would love to do like what i what i would love to do for master trainer peter um uh, the the channel Master Trainer Peter. That's referring to myself in the third person. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I would love to. I would love to work with Nintendo on you know a fitness game release. I think that would be an incre- that be an, an incredible capstone to that career. I'd, to be honest, I'm I'm aiming to make content creation a a, a career for yep. me. Um, yep. A you know a a pure you know like focused source of income. Um, so that I can you know live off of that and do even though like lots of long hours and and quite difficult to to run like i would sure i find it i would find it so fulfilling um so yeah what i'm i'm aiming for what i would love to do is yeah work with nintendo on that and work with sega on the other channel yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah play both sides so i always come out on top yeah, yeah. I, know, I mean <laughs> sony and xbox are crying in the corner but that's okay we won't we won't mention them it's <laughs> it's still a two horse race <laughs> yeah fine <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's excellent. So, it's, and I'm glad that you sort of mentioned because I was going to say, you know, is there any other brands and stuff you want to work with? But obviously, Nintendo, um, it's just kind of a no brainer for you at this point. It's, uh, you know, yeah. so if Nintendo by some means sees this, just, you know, you, you hook a man up. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's again, and like we opened up with, we opened up with the podcast with saying, you know, you're in a niche spot. There's no one that's kind of doing exactly what you're doing. Um, well, at least, you know, that I've seen, I've, I've seen people yeah. in VR space. I've seen people in gym bros. I've seen, you know, uh, you know, work out to turn into someone from Mortal Kombat or whatever. Like I've seen those kind of videos <laughs> and stuff, but I've never seen anyone being like, Hey, I'm playing video games and, you know, staying fit and getting fit doing it. And you can do it too. Yeah. It's very easy to buy it off the shelf and just play it by properly, you know, <laughs> and yeah. away you go. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, hats off to you for actually, you know, doing something that you're passionate with and doing something, you know, you want to do. And um, I suppose the, 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 where can people find you? Like if they, you know, yeah. want to see your channels as a, you know, want to send you a message or what's the best way to reach out? Yeah. Awesome. So uh, probably easiest way to, I mean, channels, you can find me just Master Trainer Peter on YouTube or Master Trainer Gaming on YouTube. Either one of those, you're going to find me. The, the logos are sort of ish similar. So, like, it's kind of, you know, they look vaguely similar. So, like, you'll, you'll know. Uh, uh, you can generally, you can find me on Twitter. Again, Master Trainer Peter. And uh, that's probably the easiest way to get 
hold of me because I'm um, unfortunately terminally online. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Twitter's probably the easiest way to find me. Um, I, I've also got a Discord, um, which you can find the links through my, you know, uh, on, actually on my Twitter, um, you can find the links on there. And uh, yeah, there's a really nice supportive community there of people who use uh, games for fitness um, from all around the world as well. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Peter, for being on the show and thanks for all the insights. Oh, I, I feel somehow I feel more unfit talking to you. Um, but at the same time, I know my ring fits just arm's length away and I will. I will do, do it, a man. stream and I will yeah. play it yeah. and we'll, we'll know awesome. how that goes after that. You, you, let me, you let me know and, I'll, um, you let me know and I'll, I'll personal train you through the, uh, through, through the chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I might take you up on that. Um, but, yeah, thanks for everyone for, for checking out the show as well and watching. And if you have a particular creator that you would love to see uh, jump on this show, please leave a comment below uh, of who you'd like to see and I'll reach out to them. Sometimes they'll reply to my messages. Sometimes they won't. But, hey, why not? And, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for listening. And until next time, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. All right. Good night. Yeah.